Welcome to my Java blockchain tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of building blockchain applications using Java. If you're new to blockchain development or Java, don't worry, we'll start from the very beginning. First things first, let's make sure we have Java installed on our system. Type the following command in your terminal or command prompt. If you see the Java version printed out in your terminal, you're good to go. If not, you'll need to download and install Java before we can continue. Now that we have Java installed, let's get started with building our blockchain application. We'll start by creating a new Java project in our favorite IDE. Next, we'll need to add some dependencies to our project to help us build our blockchain. We'll use the Yavajsin and Bouncy Castle libraries. To add these libraries to your project, add the following lines to your build Rattle or Palm, XML if you are using Maven. Now that we have our dependencies set up, let's start building our blockchain. First, we'll define our block class. In our block class, we define its hash, previous hash data, and timestamp. We'll use these attributes to link each block together in our blockchain. Next, let's define our blockchain class. In our blockchain class, we define our blockchain as a list of block objects. We'll also define methods to add new blocks to the blockchain and validate the integrity of the blockchain. Now that we have our block and blockchain classes defined, let's put them to use by creating our first block and adding it to the blockchain. We've now created our first block and added it to the blockchain. We can continue adding more blocks to the blockchain by creating new block objects and calling the addBlock method on our blockchain object. And that's it. Now you know the basics of building blockchain applications with Java. Of course, there's much more to learn if you want to become an expert in blockchain development. But this should be enough to get you started. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching and happy coding.